have you ever seen this kind of blog post layout with this cool hover effect? If not, then I'll show you how to design these beautiful cards, how to organize them with this awesome overlapping layout, and also how to add this cool hover effect with that. So without any further ado, let's see how can we make that. Okay, so here before starting, you have to have the Elementor Elementor Pro and also have this Elementor Custom Skin plugin. Okay, so after having all of this plugin, here under Elementor, under Experiments, you have to make sure to enable this Flexbox container option because from now we will working with the new Flexbox container layout. So in your website, if you don't enable this, let's just quickly enable this from here. Okay, so now from here I want to create a new page and name this page. Go to edit with Elementor and here I will start everything from scratch. But if you don't want to watch this full tutorial and only want to get these postcards, you can also get this from my Gumroad shop only for $3.99. So here after downloading this template, you will get a zip file like this. So you just need to unzip this and inside this you will also get these two zip files. So here this one is for the container users and this one is for the non-container user. So if you also want to use the previous non-container version of Elementor, you can also use this zip file. Okay, so for now I want to use this one. So let's just go to our this page and go to this template upload option. And from here, I want to just drag this on here. And then here you can see these two templates. Okay, for now, I don't want to do anything from here. So let's again go to our dashboard and go to this theme builder option. And I want to go to this table view. Here you can see this template post loop, which we have just imported. So if you just go to this edit with Elementor, here you can see. We have just created our this single post layout from this template. So here is our featured image. This is our post date, post title, post category, and also the author of this post. So from here, if you want, you can also rearrange these items or also can customize the design of these items. Okay, but for now, I don't want to do anything. Let's just go back again to our page and here again, go to my templates. And let's sort by this date and I want to insert this one postcard layout okay then you can get this template so what you need to do you just click on this right side postcards and here you can see this template selection option so from here you just need to select this one post loop and now we can see everything works perfect and here in your case, this post title, this post thumbnail and the other things will be different. So this will be shown according to your website's blog post. Okay. So from our preview, you can see it's also perfectly working from our desktop or all other devices. Okay. But if you don't want to get this ready-made template, you can also start everything from scratch. So let's go back to our this page and I want to delete this section. And also for my templates, I want to delete this one. Okay, go back to here. And first of all, I want to create a new container. So let's click on this plus icon and choose this one. And inside this parent container, first of all, I want to create a container on this left side and another one on this right side. So let's add an, another container inside this. And as I want to make it a fixed width, so I want to make its content width to full width and make it to 260 pixel make its minimum height 350 then here I want to use a multi-color background so if you go to this style option and go to this gradient background option from here you can see there is only the option of giving two color gradient background option but I want to make it a multi-color gradient background so for this we need to write down some custom CSS so let's go to here and here we need to write down some code and if you don't know to use this custom CSS feature you have to have the Elementor Pro so if you don't have Elementor Pro you can quickly get this from my link on the description so let's paste this code to here and you can see this beautiful multi-color background 
here you don't need to worry about this code snippet i will give all of the code snippet to my website and also give the code snippet link to my description so from here you just need to copy and paste that code okay so now here i want to use this gradient background only as the border of this container so for this what we need to do we need to take an another container inside this so let's drag this container inside this and i want to set a another background color a solid background color make it to black and also want to make it to full height so go to this advanced option and make it size to grow okay and for this parent container i want to make some padding so from this navigator we can see this is our parent container so i want to make its padding to 5 pixel okay now we can see this beautiful border effect right now i just want to give some border radius of these containers so for our this parent container make it to 12 pixel and for this inner container i want to make some less border radius 8 pixel okay now that looks good now inside this i want to add some more content but before that for our this main container i want to give it some background color so make it to this dark color and also give some padding okay now inside this i want to add a heading and also add a link so for this link we will add a button widget under this heading so let's go to the heading and i want to change this text also change the text for this button okay now let's go to the setting settings and i want to make its color to fully white and from this typography let's also change the font size go to this button settings and first of all i want to remove this green background color so i want to make it to fully transparent and make this color to this orange color also make this padding to zero and here at the top i also need some spacing so make some top margin okay now here i want to make all of this content put at the bottom of this container so let's go to this container settings and go to this items option and make this justify content to the flex end okay now we just need to give some padding 30 pixel but on this right side i want to give it some more padding 45 now this section looks good so after that here on this right side i want to take an another container so let's go back to again here and drag this container widget after that okay but here you can see when we add our the second container our this first container width is automatically decreased i don't know why this is happening maybe this is a glitch of this flexbox container or maybe something else but whatever to fix this we need to go to these container settings and also need to write down some custom css okay now you can see it's perfectly working so for this container first of all i want to go to this layout option and make its direction to the row okay now inside this i want to add a post widget so from here let's search for post widget and drag this to here okay here you can see our latest blog post has been shown but we don't want to show this default post layout so we will work on that but before that here on this left side you can see our this left column height has been increased with our this right column so to prevent this let's go to this parent container settings and go to this layout option from the items i want to make this align items to the center okay now that problem has been fixed so let's again go to this post option and instead of this default classic look i want to select a custom layout okay for now there is no custom layout we need to create a new template so now i want to save this and go back again to this dashboard from this template option go to this theme builder and beside this loop click on this plus icon let's close this and i want to name this loop from here okay so now here i want to create a new container so from here let's drag this to here and i want to give the width of this box to 300 pixel and height to 350 and make its direction to the row okay so now here i want to give it a background color so for this we need to take an another container inside this and from this style option go to this gradient background and make its first color to this and also give it a second background color 
also change this angle to 85 degree give some border radius and also some box shadow and lastly also give some inner padding so here now if you look at our this final product you can see for our each of our these cards here we need to take a container and inside this container here this one is our one container and here this is our another container and inside this upper container we also need to take two container this one and another one is this one okay so we need to make this structure so let's go back again to here and here we need to take our first container and here this is our second container okay so inside our this first container here we also need to take two container this is our first inner container so from the navigator we can see this one okay so inside this first we will take our featured image so from here this is our featured image widget so let's drag this to here and after that we also need to add the date of this post so for this we will use this heading widget okay so let's go back to this featured image and first of all i want to set a fixed width and height for this 40 pixel and same height make the object fit to the cover and also make the border radius 50 pixel and after this image i want to add the date of this post so for this i want to go to this dynamic tag option and make it the post date from the style option let's make its color to this gray color and from the typography i want to change its font to this make the font size to 16 pixel and also reduce this weight okay now here to place this on one after another we need to go to this parent container settings and make its direction to the row and also to make it vertically center we need to make the align items to the center okay and also reduce the spacing between them so i want to make it to 12 pixel and here one thing i forget to do for this image here i want to also make it to the link of this post so from this link option i want to make it to custom url and from this link dynamic tag option let's make it to post url okay so after that here this is our first container so after this i also want to add another container from here let's drag this right after that and now inside this first of all i want to add the post title so let's add this post title widget and I also want to add the post category so for this here I also want to add this heading widget so for this post title first of all I want to also make it link to the post so from the dynamic tag option make it to post URL and from the style I want to make its color to white and also reduce the font size adjust the line height and here with this header I also want to add some more custom CSS code so here i use this css code because for any of your post your post title goes more than three lines so in that case it will automatically add a three dots after this third lines so this will be helpful for the post with the really big title okay so after that for this one again go to this dynamic tag option and make it to post terms and by default here shows the post tags I want to make it to post categories and here is also the option for the separator so instead of comma i want to make the separator to space okay so right now here is only one category but if you have multiple categories so in that case you may see space between these items okay so from the style i want to modify this color to this orange and also change this typography make it to uppercase and here for this one i also want to add some custom css to adjust the spacing between these each categories okay here you cannot see any differences but if you have more categories then you can see the spacing between them and lastly now i want to also add the author name at the bottom of this container so here at the last we have already take this container so inside this we just need to take our this author name let's drag another heading widget and for this one i want to make it to author name from the style settings i want to make its color to this white also from the typography let's make it to roboto slab reduce this font size 
okay but here i want to place this text at the bottom of this section so for this here we need to go to the parent container of this text this one so for this one here i want to go to this layout option from the items let's make its justify content to space between now you can see this text goes at the bottom of this container now we just need to adjust some spacing so go to this heading settings and make some margin and here at the top i also need to adjust the spacing between this container and this top container so go to this parent container and i want to make the spacing between them 19 pixel okay now our layout for the single post has been completed so let's click on this publish button and click on save and close and here again if we check its name we can see its post loop v2 now let's go back again to our main page and if we refresh this now let's click on this post widget and from this drop down now we can see our newly created loop template so this is post loop v2 let's select this here now we can see our newly created layout but we still need to do some customization so first of all here i want to make this post per page to 10 and as here i want to create a overlapping layout so for this we need to write down some custom css code so go to this advanced tab go to this custom css and paste this code to here okay now i can see this beautiful overlapping layout and also this card hover effect okay now if we save this and go to our preview here yeah, we can see it looks good but we cannot actually go to our next post so what i want to do when i drag on this post i want to navigate through left and right on this post cards so for this let's go back again to here and first of all with this post widget i want to add a css class curve dash post and then we need to add some custom javascript code so for this let's search for the html widget and drag this to here and paste this code now if we again save this and now we can see we can navigate through these cards just by dragging on left and right okay but here we can see here is still some bug we need to add some padding at the top and bottom so let's again go to here and for this postcards let's make some top and bottom padding 40 pixel and also on the left side make some margin okay now that looks perfect so the last thing i want to do i want to add a multicolor divider at the right side of this post otherwise this will not looks complete so let's go back again to here and drag a divider widget and first of all i want to make its width to 5 pixel and from the style i want to give it a height remove this gap and from the positioning i want to position this on the right side so make the position to the absolute from the right make it to zero and from the top make it 35 okay everything looks good but now instead of this black color i want to make it a multi background color so from here i want to make this color to fully transparent and go to the custom css and let's give its background from here okay let's also give some border radius and also some box shadow now from our preview we can see it looks really very perfect now finally i want to check this from our tablet and the mobile devices so go to this tablet device here everything looks okay i don't need to do anything and on the mobile here we need to fix a couple more things so first of all for this container i want to again make its width 260 pixel and to make it align on the center let's go back to the parent container and make its justify content to the center and for this bottom post we also need to adjust its padding and margin so go to this post widget settings and make the padding and let's also give some negative margin okay and here i think we also need to adjust the top position for this divider make it to 45 okay now that looks good and finally i also want to adjust the top and bottom padding for this parent container so make it to this okay now that looks perfect 
So that's how you can create this beautiful postcard on your Elementor website. If you enjoyed this video, then don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you on my next video.